OK, slyšíme. Um, so yes, uh, I'm unfortunately just an image today. I will try to keep it short. Um, I myself uh, uh, was not much involved with visual art in the 90s. Um, I mostly experienced them, uh, experienced it uh, secondhand, <laughs> uh, not as a primary uh, witness, uh, but nevertheless, uh, it very much interests me uh, it, as this era kind of predates to uh, <clears throat> 2000s when, when I got more involved uh, in the scene in Bratislava and, and uh, afterwards also elsewhere. Um, so I would like to use this uh, uh, invitation for while well, I didn't prepare a talk, uh, but I used this as an opportunity to finalize, um, or actually not finalize, it's far from final, or at least finally assemble uh, a new section on, on uh, Monoscope website dedicated to visual art of the 90s. So as such, it's, it's really a huge, broad uh, topic, of course. Uh, so in order to make it, uh, I mean, the, the original impetus was or has been a uh, research project I have been involved with together with Ivana Rumanova and, and many others over the past few years, uh, which is called uh, We Have Never Been Closer. Um, and maybe I will uh, very briefly uh, introduce it first, and then I will move on to this uh, uh, new section. So let me see if I can share my screen. Uh, so can you see what I see? Yes, OK. So this is a collection of, uh, um, let's say, different uh, elements or outputs of this project. Um, basically, we were uh, looking at, uh, we, we have been uh, uh, mostly interested in uh, different artist or artist-run organizations uh, in uh, Czechia, Slovakia, Hungary, so far, mostly these. Uh, and particularly Hermit uh, in, in Plasi, but also Studio Erte uh, in a smaller town called Nove Zamki uh, near Hungarian border, but on the Slovak side. And uh, in Budapest, uh, initiative called Media Research Foundation and, uh, and, and, and also a milieu in Bratislava around uh, so-called Sneg or Society for Non-Conventional Music and uh, Trans Music Comp. So these were our, uh, or these have, these have been our main uh, kind of, the, the, our focus was on, on these uh, initiatives, which themselves are also relatively hard to pin down into, I mean, they're not really uh, collectives, they're not really um, art groups. I mean, maybe we can talk about them as some kind of networks, uh, um, but uh, I think what they have in common is is that they were, uh, they all have uh, legal bodies. So they they, they were established as uh, at one point as NGOs, which was also especially in well at least in uh, uh, Czechoslovak context something very new uh, to artists. There suddenly mm, uh, there was a possibility to create and um, create a legal body together. And, and with this also came, of course, uh, like many questions about the roles uh, and uh, like the functions uh, and uh, hierarchies and the funding and all this uh, administrative bureaucratic uh, infrastructure that makes things possible. Um, so uh, we were, Looking at these uh, different contexts or different milieus, uh, uh, we um, kind of structured the research around. Uh, we ended up structuring the research around three themes. So one uh, one is around art labor or art work, and uh, where there is a uh, quite a tension between 
what was considered or what has been considered uh, recipro reciprocal or reciprocity in terms of uh, relations between artists and organizers where things are expected to be uh, basically done free for free uh, with no without fees uh, like I come to your festival and you will come to mine and uh, this is how things worked or has been working for like at least in this in this context and then the other side of the coin of course this self exploitation and uh, and the situation where basically uh, the, the, big, the big question is how to pay uh, how to pay the bills so this was the one thing the other one is performativity which uh, maybe not surprisingly but it really emerged as a as a central mode of of uh, artistic production, but also of of some kind of uh, coexistence uh, in these situations, in these events, in uh, in kind of uh, art and life uh, overlaps. So, so this is something that really recurs across all these initiatives, and uh, it also is implied in 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 this multiply or multiplying identities of artists being organizers, being historians, becoming writers, becoming curators, becoming collectors, and so on, uh, and navigating in these roles uh, as, as as kind of performing uh, own as, uh, kind of artistic or identity in this in this uh, in this field. And uh, I think also one of the reasons for like the, the like mm, the centrality uh, centrality of performance or performativity was the, the the actual fact that things were basically done without budget. So uh, people were mostly using their own presence and their own body to make art. And the third theme or term or, or uh, subject was of course uh, the more social uh, context uh in let's say central europe or visegrad countries or however we call this region in terms of transition to democracy uh which which somehow established this tunnel vision uh towards uh, uh racing towards freedom and prosperity but at the same time uh, forgetting about uh, basic human rights especially of uh, different uh um, uh, different minorities, and uh, we also found that actually the the, the media or the, the groups that were actually uh, highlighting this were mostly in anarchist circles. So in in Czechia there was this one anarchist magazines that were, we looked at this table of contents that this is this is this would be the actual program of of let's say progressive ne slovensko uh, or progressive slovakia party today where things like uh, uh abortion rights and uh, and uh, registered partnerships are really uh, still uh, controversial um in slovakia um so these were our uh, three uh, let's say uh, thematic uh, areas. Uh, we recorded discussions. Recording in progress. And what it leads to. So, uh, if, 
So this page is now online. Uh, it's under Moscow or slash 1990s. Uh, it's, it's a number. And uh, there, there are also very different ways how this page can be structured. At the end, uh, I mean, at the end, I mean, this is really in a process. So at the moment, uh, it has three sections. The, the one is entitled, I mean, the one is dedicated to artist organizations and para institutional practices of the 90s, which already have some kind of presence on, on this website. Uh, you can see it's mostly uh, kind of biased by uh, kind of my kind of milieus being located in 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 and out Central Europe. So, uh, but it's meant really meant to uh, be kind of expanded over time. Then. Uh, then I realized that are, I mean, of course, like a lot of these research projects uh, that many probably like some, at least some of the participants at this symposium were also initiator or at least participants in. So they, they uh, many of them produced or ended up producing some kind of a digital resource or digital platform where, where their outputs are somehow assembled, collected, presented uh, to broader audience. Mm, so, uh, yes, uh, there was uh, like the, the, the quite an early one was East, East R Map by uh, the group Irwin. Uh, this website is down; it doesn't work anymore. Also, this uh, this one was dedicated to video art in Central and Eastern Europe uh, in nineties and two thousands. Transitland. There was a Erste, Erste project called Gender Check, uh, focusing on, on femininity and masculinity in the art of Eastern Europe. Atlas of Transformation, uh, where Vit Havranek and Transit of Org were uh, kind of coordinators, uh, researchers, with, and there was a large scale project called Former West, uh, organized out of Beck. Or no, sorry, back in Utrecht with Maria Hlavajova as as uh, as, uh, as a coordinator. Uh, this living as form uh, has been uh, supported by Creative Time in New York, and it looks mostly in socially engaged art. In this decade, there was a project, uh, or actually still apparently continuing project of transit uh, in Budapest, uh, which. Uh, so, um, went with a uh, kind of the method was like similarly to uh, to this atlas of transformation. The method of, is is a glossary and uh, developing glossary entries basically by invited contributors. And there is a project uh, which is home. I mean, uh, uh, which is project of uh, Art Museum of Olomots uh, hosting this symposium, uh, which has been running for almost 10 years. And it's also, I mean, it's mostly rooted, I mean, based on their own collection uh, of Central European art, but also opening up to really uh, mapping the context around these artists and artworks. Uh, there was a project uh, in, or also, I think, Continuing project in in uh, I think Ljubljana in Moderna Galleria, also in form of glossary. Um, there is one in uh, in Warsaw by Arton Foundation, looking at uh, maybe not so prominent artists or not so visible artists from Central Eastern Europe. Uh, there was a very interesting one organized by NGBK in Berlin, looking at the post unification art in mostly from East. German perspective, and uh, one called Secondary Archive, looking at uh, uh, women artists from Central Eastern Europe. I mean, uh, many of these projects, of course, are not uh, focusing uh, exclusively on the nineties, but but also, I mean, they are they are uh, they are great kind of resources for this for this period. And then one very recent one from uh, Marina Grzinic, who uh, made tell us maybe more when uh, when we come uh, to her. <laughs> and then we uh, okay, so so these are these are the just these platforms. And then uh, there is uh, several of these projects are highlighted. 
I mean, uh, for example, this one, I mean, it's it's not so, I mean, look at this URL, monument2transformation.org. I mean, it's, it's not so, uh, also, I don't know how it shows up on, on Google if you, if you kind of look for things like this. So, I mean, it's, it's not maybe so straightforward to to find these things. So it also makes sense to really bring bring this bring them together in in, in some kind of yeah resource resource or resources or something like that. But anyway, so uh, we have a former rest. Uh, uh, there was one. Uh, I mean, also uh, in terms of uh, this uh, topicalities. Uh, what was apparent really in East Berlin, but also Leipzig, Dresden, and other places that that uh, and what maybe also connects to Plassey and the monastery there, that suddenly uh, artists were uh, really in a position of of of, uh, of, of uh, the building, the actual uh, like infrastructure in terms of uh, buildings. So. So in Berlin, this is of course uh, uh, connected to gentrification and and all these all these other things. But I would say it's it's not limited just to Berlin. And uh, yes, this uh, museum confederation called Leinster Nationale has this large scale project called Our Many Europe's, uh, where also interesting work has been done. Um, and then there is a collection of uh, mostly catalogs, but also authored, kind of single authored monographs and other kinds of publications, uh, thank, which thank, thank I struggled how to structure, but ended up in this kind of geographic um, uh, geographic structuring, which is also problematic, of course. I mean, many of these projects are transversal, like this monument transformation. Um, was not only about Eastern Europe, Central Eastern Europe, but um, this is where we at. Um, also, try to make some kind of a thematic index. Uh, but Can uh, you hear us? sorry, Can you hear us now? Yes. Thank you. Uh, we have to. We have to continue. Uh, that's uh, that's from me. Yes, please. <laughs> 